One common thread with really great digital marketing campaigns is that they have a really deep understanding of the audience. They understand their pain points and they define really well how their product speaks to those pain points. Too many times people focus on the tactics without really considering and digging into the audience, what their pain points are and how the message is going to impact them. When I work with my clients, I wanna have great SEO. I wanna have a really great ad strategy. We want the back end to be really strong and, and have all of that technical know-how. But we also really need to make sure that we have a deep understanding of the audience, that we've talked to them and we understand what is valuable to them in their words and that we're speaking to them in their language. There's a lot that goes into the messaging that Vivio does for our clients that we make sure we understand it from their perspective and not just from the company's perspective because they can be very different. So really understanding the audience, speaking to the audience, digging into the audience is always key in a successful campaign. Where a lot of people go wrong is they start with tactics first. They're looking at platform setups and they're building audiences without even really truly understanding what their audience wants. Mastering the technology that goes into the individual platforms, whether that's doing a Facebook ad campaign or you're advertising on Google or you're doing some lead nurturing and lead capturing on your website, absolutely understanding the technology is really important there. But what we often find is that if campaigns aren't performing, it really goes back to the messaging. What are you saying that's getting your audience's attention? What are you giving them that's worth them giving you their contact information? Why are you doing this in the first place? Why should they listen to you? Why should they give you the most valuable asset that they have, which is their time? So we really focus on honing in on those specific pain points that apply to the audience, the product category. Maybe it's also timeliness or something recent that's happened in the market that needs to be addressed. We can't do broad strokes, hey, this worked over here and so I'm sure it'll work over here as well. You've gotta dig in and make it a specific, you've gotta make that audience feel like you really understand them and finally, your someone is really going to solve their problem. So one of the ways that Vimeo ensures success is we live in the data. We always want to go in with best practices in mind. We always want to set up campaigns with best practices in mind. But once they get set up, we want to monitor them really closely. We want to look at the data. We want to see how they're performing. And we are not afraid to say, hey, we were wrong. Let's make a change here um, so that we can ensure success for our clients. We are incredibly transparent with the manufacturers that we work with. So we start every project with clear expectations and we'll even directly ask, what does success look like? We know that we have goals, we know that we have clear KPIs that we need to hit, but what's going to really make us all feel at the end of the day, like this was an incredibly successful campaign and engagement together. So that's where it starts. And after that, it's all about communication. We're clearly communicating all along the way about what we're doing, why we're doing it, why we believe that it works. And if something doesn't work, we tell you. And we tell you how we're going to fix it and why we know the next step is going to work. It's all about iteration and optimization. There's no set it and forget it happening here, but it's about keeping a consistent eye on the data. What are the results telling us? How are the conversions going? Are we really getting the messaging across that we thought that we were going to? Frankly, it's even hearing back from the sales team about the quality of leads that they're getting. That's the biggest indicator. If they're having strong sales conversations, we know we're really starting to gain some traction. But if some of the leads that are making it through aren't the qualified leads that we expect, we've got to go back to the drawing board and make some changes because we want to have that as a success marker in the project as well. 